Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Um, today I've popped into Poundland and my Poundland have a Pep & Co like concession inside the store because um, Poundland actually own um, Pep & Co as well. Um, so there's loads of clothes. And they've changed it all around in the store that I go in. It's a bit weird these days, but um, I thought I'd take you and have a little look. I need to get some um, amp powder. We've got the joys of that this time of year. So I thought we'd have a quick look around because we haven't done a shopping video for ages and ages. Um, so the sort of clothes they sell, they have a small section where they sell like women's clothes. Um, looks a bit messy actually today. And um, they've got various bits there. And they also do like, these are, they, they actually, they're quite nice. I got a pair of these trousers a little while ago, a, pair, a black pair. Um, they're quite cool. Um, obviously I don't want to just be picking stuff up. They are seven pounds, but they're like the stretchy waist and they're like um, tight-ish, not too tight, because I wouldn't like them too tight. And they're sort of, can you see the, the um, ankle there? And they're only seven quid and they're really good. They fit really nice. So um, different flip-flops there, two pounds. Some socks. They do kids' pyjamas. Um, let's have a look around here. They've got like, um, they do men's stuff as well. Um, kids like t-shirts and men's t-shirts and things. I say it's really messy, but it's not normally this messy. They've got joggers and um, shorts and underwear over there. And on this bit, different men's clothes as well. So they do quite a bit, um, but we'll have a look and see what else is around. Again, this is the Pep & Co section. So there's some bins down the bottom there. They're £3. Some bath mats. They've got white and pink. And they're £3 as well. There's some towels. £4. £3 for a hand towel there. And then there's some bits here for like um, the bathroom. There's soap dispensers and soap dishes. Um, got a few more sort of home accessories here. Got some succulents there, three pounds. And that's a pot down there with like a fake plant in. That one's five and that one's three. These are quite cool baskets there. I'm not sure how much, oh, they're five pounds for those baskets. I saw the tag. Um, that's a cool elephant. That's four pounds and a um, golden budda there. They're four pounds, I like those. These are good, black and gold um, citrus and patchouli and there's a reed diffuser there. I've uh, got some baskets, storage baskets. How much are they? They're three pounds for those. And um, so they've had those ones in there for ages. Got different earphones and things around here, like wireless earphones. There's headphones there. Um, there's kids ones, so if you need some kids um, headphones, they've got those. Got a portable speaker there so if you're going like you've got young ones that like to go to make maybe a park or something like that and they want to play some music they've got all those and they've got all like the little connector clips like clips like this one is um an earphone splitter that's just um oh this is in the pound section so i found them okay some of them don't work but on the whole they're okay right we'll have a look down this garden section here so what we've got there's some plastic glasses there wine glasses some cutlery so you can just keep washing those and use those over and over again some burger boxes um, got wooden skewers so we've got like barbecuey bits and bobs here got some ice cube trays oh now look see these are the reusable ice cubes so you just put those in the freezer they freeze and then you pop them in a the drink and then they melt and then you just freeze them again so they're quite good. There's a nice bucket down there for £3. And what have we got here? Some cute little stuff. Like if you're doing a fairy garden, maybe you've got um, a pot or something and your kids want to do a little fairy garden. That'll be quite sweet. There's some windmills there and sun catcher. Got some parasol lights, inflatable drinks holders. If you've got a paddling pool, you can pop your drink on there. Live your best life, can't you? There's a bird cage there, £5. £5 didn't want it black you could spray that you could put flowers in it you could put candles in it that would look cool got a fly swatty thing down there a zap bat apparently it's called hanging lanterns these are six pounds um, what have you got here owl ornaments they're three pounds and then we've got some artificial plants here they're four pounds and then five for that one at the bottom these are five as well these little trees and moving on here we've got the solar lights they're quite nice and chunky aren't they for a fiver i like those 
Um, what are they? Post lights. We've got some net lights. So if, if you want to sort of make your garden a bit brighter and a bit pretty, they've got some solar panel, solar powered lights here. So there's curtain lights there. I think these are six pounds and they're net lights. You can wrap those look around a tree if you want to. That's a rope light. Um, right, there's some artificial grass seed there. That's just um, in the pound section. There's also a hanging basket bracket down there. So if you want to pop those up. Oh, look, you can make your own here. There's the, there's, I think they're the wall ones. Yeah, they're the wall baskets. And um, so they do all these sorts of stuff. So if you want to do your garden up and not spend, you know, a great deal on it, you could pop in and get some of these bits and, these here they hang over um, like a fence really well so you can put flowers and stuff in those it just brightens like the fence up and that so you can put those in they've got different pots there also sort of planting and seeding they've got all those up there as well <clears throat> what have we got down here oh this is like the grow your own stuff we've got some uh, cactus bonsai flaming hot chili peppers so you can do those but you can also do your spuds and there's lucky clover there we all need a bit of that, don't we? Um, some more plants. What's that? Some rapid action grass seed there. Weed killer. I've got ants that have decided to come into my living room last night. We haven't had ants before. So they can go. We don't want them. Again, some gardening bits down there. Trowels and diggers. and They're good to get like the kids helping and stuff. Oh, look, there's some ant spray. These are the little settings for your hose. If you're doing your potting, you've got your label there. Um, oh, I think I could do one of those sprayer things. I've been watering my grass. It's a bit dead in places. There's some strimmer line there as well. And also some gardening gloves. I think I do need to pick some of those up because, um, um, yeah, I got a few prickles and thorns last time. And there's some pruning shears there plant clips if you grow in and you want them to go where you want them to go what have we got down here got some feed for tomatoes roses house plant feed all the bits and bobs down there that you need and it's really good because they're not that expensive we've even got the miracle grow in here and um, kill the weeds not the lawns that's weed killer at the top there you've got like your fly spray um, ant killer weed killer that sort of thing over this side all bits to keep the kids occupied if you are going to the seaside then come in here and buy your bits for the seaside because they're so expensive when you get there something that would cost you a pound in here you're probably going to pay about four or five pounds at the, at the beach so pick them up before you go and if you're not going anywhere and your kids want to play like in some sand come and get them from in here mix a bit of water in with it they can build some sand castles um what is we've got we've got beach balls mini paddling pool just a small one there they've even got snorkel sets they've got um a fish game so you can get one of the little mini pools if you've got a young one obviously you just put a tiny bit of water in it and keep your eye on them um and you can put like the fish in it and they can sort of like hook the fish there's kites up there um but alfie's got one of those he loves doing that um there's different games down there like um ring toss and um, frisbees and stuff so there's loads of like outdoor games and, and things and there's also camping bits and bobs you've got your small travel size toiletries there um, I think this is that spray yeah this is the spray that Ebony uses it's 15 um, some, some factor 15 and it's the oil so she tries to get a tan so she's got a small bottle of that like that sort of size so i think it's the malibu make that she's got um some more different toys here what are these science stuff so if you want the kids to have fun but still learn there's all like the, the sciencey bits and bobs there playing cards again they're good to have at home just to play with the kids dominoes you can play those um alfie loves these little cars and then i've got the books and the dvds as well they also got magazines in here now. Look, I didn't know they did those at the top there. A few uh, different kitchen bits and bobs here. So bottles, glasses, jars, there's mugs. Um, what have we got? Soup bowls down there. Also, if you like your cake making, as I do, we've got the cake boards there. I don't know if they sell the boxes, but 
there's a big jug down there that's just a quid for a big massive jug and a bowl so if you're just starting out you don't have many sort of baking equipment and you can pop in here there's a whisk i need a new whisk i tend to kill my whisks very easily probably a bit too vigorous with them more cake stuff these are quite cute they're not the, they're the small cupcakes they're not like the muffin size your baking trays down there oh they do the cake boxes look two pounds that's good you get a board in there as well i think i'll pick one of those up because they're really handy to have in I made a really lovely cake at the weekend there's a victoria sponge a big massive one you know the small ones we made and um, with the strawberries and everything on top i made an absolute huge one it was so nice it was cooked perfect if i do say so myself it was light and absolutely lovely so also if your kids like things like these winders and stuff get them from in here because they're only a pound if you go to like some of the other shops they can, like supermarkets and stuff they can be almost double that so a lot of this sort of bars and stuff are so much cheaper and also home bargains they do some really cheap um, bars so keep an eye out in there as well um, what have we got some more baking stuff we've got the vanilla and lemon flavorings down there there's loads of different sprinkles but these are called cool. dinosaurs i'm going to get some of those for alfie he would love those got dinosaurs green ones and there's different party ones there oh look there's some mermaids how cool are those chloe would love those got mermaid tails they're so pretty and different food colorings there's the writing icing so you can bake some biscuits and then the kids can just scrawl on them with those or you could just buy some biscuits as well and let them decorate them you don't have to you don't have to make them if you don't want to all sorts of different um chocolate chips there's coconut raisins uh, over there look at the size of that nutella that's huge isn't it um, peanut butter and in this store because they've changed it all around they have all food now so they've got all those chilled cabinets i have to say i know it's nice they sell all this different stuff but i preferred it before it's weird now they've moved it all around and i just find it a bit odd but so these are like the snacks and biscuits and stuff um just being careful i'm staying out of everybody's way i don't do these very often now so you've got a right old rare treat guys and there's the barney bear cake bars the kids love those no matter how old they get they still like those there's the cracker breads i like those cracker breads if you fancy a snack just um i'll just have mine we can have them plain you can just put a little bit of margarine on them they're, not, they're nice like that animal biscuits the oreos phoebe loves oreos kit kats the rocky bars <clears throat> it's so hard for me not to tidy up but i can't do that anymore can i these biscuits i love coconut rings they're 50p and there's bourbons 50p custard creams and they're like shortbread type biscuits they do ginger nuts rich tea digestives and they are what are they called like jammy dodger things i think they've got milk chocolate digestives can't buy those because i'd eat them all hobnobs oh, i love i love chocolate hobnobs Oh, just dive to eat all them. Tea cakes. Got the lotus. These have got the actual spread inside, these lotus biscuits. But I think they're quite expensive for a pound. I mean, look, you get all them and then you only get a few. I'd rather buy those, get a jar of the spread. Right, what else? These are just like coffee and tea and things like that and sugar. These are all the, the crisps. And I'll just quickly show you these cabinets. These are the chilled foods, because I think they bought heron foods, didn't they? So that's why they're in here. So they offer so much more now, like the Dunkers, um, milk, they've got coffee, um, loads and loads of stuff, milkshakes. It's really quiet in here today, so that's why I'm able to do this, because I can't really do them now. What with COVID and when it's busy, I just can't, I just can't film them. One, it's not fair on the customers and I wouldn't want to do that and it's not fair on me either so I'm really pleased I'm able to do it today look at that as a chicken sub there that's 175 chorizo um, they do bacon down the bottom they've got frankfurt at the top Swedish meatballs loads of different bits right let's have a look see if I've missed anything right we'll just zoom down this bit this is the cleaning bit always find something down here cloths and stuff um, dishcloths, what have we got here, air fresheners, 
I need a car air freshener actually I'm going to get that one so I've got some Lenore that's the Lenore I buy and I use Ariel I bought a big box of Ariel the other day from Morrison's or was it Asda it might have been Asda so I just buy the powder now. I used to buy like the gel in the capsules, but it worked out a bit expensive because we do lots of washing. I mean, I don't do as much now, but um, I just buy the big box of powder and it lasts me ages and just get my um, get my fabric softener. Different Dettol. And surface wipes and stuff like that. And that, guys, is about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this rare old trip around Poundland. It's been nice to, to take you around because we haven't been around for a long time. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do so. It's completely free. And um, although I don't do many shopping videos now, I will throw the odd one in um, for you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you're all okay. And I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.